morning, everyone. It's a dry start to many parts of the country this morning, but rain is on its way from the Atlantic. The rain will become widespread across the country by early afternoon, giving some heavy bursts in places. But most showery weather will come from the west during the course of the afternoon and evening time. Some clearer skies and perhaps a little sunshine will be found in the south of the country later in the day. Top afternoon temperatures, 12 to 16 degrees, with southwest winds, which will feel fresh and gusty. Tonight will be cool, but mainly dry, with lows of 6 to 9 degrees. That's your weather, and a very good morning. Every day of my life, every day to go down and check, see if everything is going all right, watch the wildlife and things like that. There's more to the fishing, like, you know, than catching the fish. You've got to look at everything, haven't you? You know, you've got to look around you, and that's what I do. That's why I love it. Not knowing what's going to happen or what you're going to see. Every day is different. I can tell you how I became a guy. I used to be fishing Stuart Martin's water, which I shouldn't have been fishing his water. And he met me one day on the riverbank, and he says to me, do you realize you're poaching my water? I said, sorry, I didn't realize that. And he looked at me and he said, well, I think I'd better take you one as a ghillie, he said. So I said, well, that'll do fine, that suits me. So that was wonderful, that's how it started. That's how it started. I was 14 years, 14 years old. I think I spent more time fishing than going to school. As I say, you look around you, never mind catching the fish. That's not important at all. Just listening to the water flowing is enough for me. That's how much I love it. My mother used to say to me, go down, we need some fish. And I'd wander down. As, as you walked into the water, you could see all the fish going off in front of you. And that's how we, we lived on salmon 
back in the late 60s, 70s, we lived on salmon. And coarse fish as well, roach, dace, perch, pike, everything. Because my mother had nothing really. We had to look after everything. Because I was the oldest of the boys, so I was the main man. <laughs> the main man that could fish. <laughs> so th th that's how it was. I brought this Dutchman, Zoff, to the opposite side of the river and uh, he was dying with cancer. And he said to me, Connie, he said, I'd love to catch a good, decent sized fish before I die. And I said to him, well, I'll see what I can do, like I can guarantee you, like, you know, it's, it's not easy to come up with something like that. But I brought him to this particular place where I'd seen, uh, you know, a decent sized fish showing every now and again. And I brought him down there. He was spinning away, spinning away. And he was coming and said, you, you, you're near the, the spot now where this big fish is showing, I said. And suddenly it took this fish. And the fish was way down the river, about 100 meters at least. Oh God, I hope this holds, like, you know, I hope this holds. Eventually, we landed it. 21 pounds. He says, Connie, do you know something? I could die right now, he said. I've enjoyed myself so much. Well, actually, would you believe it, I met the wife on the river. I was fishing there one day, fishing there quite happy, just landed a fish, and she comes walking along the river, and she said, hello, you've got a fish? I said, yeah, nice one. And we started chatting, sitting on the bank, having a, you know, a right good conversation, and I said, oh, what are you doing tonight? Nothing, she says. I said, how would you like to go with me? <laughs> and uh, she's still with me today. <laughs> Our biggest was uh, not a monster, but 16 pounds was the biggest fish she caught, like, you know. Actually, she, she um, the day she got the 16 pounder, um, I was with a chap. We were fishing for three or four days. There was nothing happening. It was just one of those bad times. And she said, can I borrow the rod and have a cast? Oh yeah, sure. And the first thing she hooked was a trout of about two and a half pounds. Who said, lucky what you call it, we said. And the next cast was a 16 pound salmon. And yeah, and uh, I remember this chap said, said to Eileen, the wife, uh, what are you doing tomorrow? Would you gilly for me? <laughs> That's exactly the words he said. It's cause to Tosh nacht a gafrasach, favel na man. Da chulbuit a tje, is the veil in sal. Shudigi, merichini, 
You know, there's more, there's more to it, like, there's more out there, isn't there, you know? You have to keep happy all the time, whether you're catching or not catching. But, um, but I don't guess there's, there's a lot of fishmongers out there. And we don't want those. That's the last thing we want, is fishmongers, and there's a hell of a lot of them these days, on the river. They're not, they're not, think, they're not thinking of the future. It's, it's live for today, to hell with tomorrow. You can't like you can't think like that anymore. Those days are gone. You must think of the future. It's so important to look after your whatever, wildlife, salmon, whatever. It's so important to be look after. But I hope we're not too late to look after the salmon. I hope we're not too late. I hope I haven't seen the best of it. It's sad really, it's very, very sad. I met a chap this year on, on the river and uh, I said to him, any good? No, 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 he says, absolutely rubbish. He says, even the lawyers are not catching him now, he says. Yes, speaking. Yes, there's been a few here and there, but uh, it's not too many because the water's been so high, like, you know, but just odd ones, but it's just coming into order now. So I think you might be lucky. Uh, Ballyduff Bridge. Yeah, that's the, the Red Bridge, yes. Oh, about nine o'clock, I would say, around nine, yeah. Nine o'clock, that would be perfect, yes. Okay, all right, thank you, bye-bye, bye, bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Tosh nach taga frasa, favel na man. Da hubui dacha is the veil in sal. Shudigi, Mary Hini, Sunni, oh 